Welcome to the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex in Cape Canaveral, Florida. We join you today for a tour and vlog. So, before, you know, let's get into the video. Obviously, it's not going to be too long and I'm not going to show too much because that would take like seven hours and this video is not going to be that long. I'm going to show you a slideshow at the end and also some tour of some different places. Alright, bye. Guys, this is known as the center of Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. You can basically spin this. Everyone spins it. There's water. And we're about to enter, let's get in frame, the Space Shuttle Atlantis building. I'm going to share footage from there and also photos at the end of the video. So stay tuned. We're inside the Space Shuttle Atlantis building. I'll probably film some more footage and show some pictures. We are currently in front of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. It is the real thing in here. It's very big. And if we turn around, we have the Hubble Space Telescope up there. Um, I'll show you more in this building soon and more pictures. All right, so this is the Hubble Space Telescope. Um, you we have seen it before, but not great. It's very big. Look at it compared to my hand. Um, it's bigger than you think. Here's a better representation of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. It is huge. There's stuff like this and screens and stuff, and astronauts and the Hubble all in here. I'll show you the Hubble a couple times. There's this big screen back there. Um, you go into these bays and assemble the ISS. Pretty cool. You use your hands. Okay, can I, I give them an example of what? So, look, um, the way I want to see that I do is I'm going to move my hand and it's going to move around them. So, yeah. I want you to wave to this astronaut. Hi. Everyone wave right me. This is what the they inside the of, of the space shuttle looks like. Mom, they broke the inside. They cut in it. And there's all these switches and stuff. Wait, this is the not the real thing. Yeah. Yeah. This is just the inside. Yeah. 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 yeah, this is what it looks like. Copy. Here are some artifacts like a toilet mm -hmm. and a shirt and a computer and stuff. And this is the space shuttle engine. Pretty cool. Let's go home never. There you go. Alright, so I was just looking at the footage on the way back and I realized I forgot to tell you that um, we are uh, um, going into the simulator. So yeah, we're going into the simulator. Oh yeah, and we could get footage. You should be hitting the speed of sound in 4, 3, 2, Mach 1. Zero to the speed of sound in less than a minute. are throttling back to reduce the pressure on your shovel as you go through max Q. Remember that tin can? Roger, go with throttle up. You made it through max Q. So we just got back from a simulator, as you saw footage from. Well, we just got back. You saw it before. So, we'll catch you guys on the next thing. We are here in the Saturn V building. I won't be able to show any footage really in here because um, I need to film the Falcon 9 launch. Um, so I'll just show pictures. <laughs> Right now, you're about 6.2 miles away, so it'll take about 30 seconds uh, for the sound to get here. About another 10 seconds from now, you'll start hearing the sound, then it will build up.
minute 15 seconds from now. Uh, you should be able to see that. If you look at the TV screen, we have cameras mounted on the rocket. They'll do a split screen on the first stage and the second stage. A uh, area you see now, we've gone through an area called the thermocline. There's a very big difference in temperature, and that is why you're seeing that. Add this in but that basically concludes the kennedy space center video thanks for watching